today is it? Christmas Eve Eve. Christmas Eve Eve. And it is 27 degrees. It's cold. Dad, cold you've been Texas. practicing your roping? Yeah, have you gotten any better at roping since the last, last well, I've, I've been in retirement for about 12 years, 10 years. <laughs> so yeah, it's coming back. I think I got a smudge. Much better. Okay. up to that corner up there but go around to the other side and see if you can bring her around Are you going to watch this hole? Yeah. Oh. Watch Pepper. the hole. Pepper, get out. Get. That's a big old lamb. Yep. Let his head full up. Oh. Just bring the bring the can am around. Y'all go on. We need like one more thing over here. I don't know what it is we need over there. We just need one more thing. How about a wheelbarrow? That's probably what we need over there. <laughs> How about some random pieces of pop? Just right out, straight out there. Out of the way so we can get that U in here. Go grab a couple of those chains out of there that we, so we can chain this thing up right here.
Get up there. Quit. Nope, Bob. Oh, yeah. That is a huge lamb. Gosh. So we didn't get to this one in time. I don't know if she started this morning or, but this lamb probably weighs every bit of, just a big old ram lamb. He probably weighs every bit of 20 or 25 pounds. Way too big. I mean, he should have weighed, he should have been about half this, about 10 or 15 pounds. She just couldn't get him out. Good morning, y'all. Merry Christmas Eve. Today's yeah. Christmas Eve. Yep. And welcome to our video. It's Bar Seven Ranch, and we're gonna go out and feed some animals. It's pretty cold. What time? What? How cold is it? It's like twenty something. Twenty something degrees. Pretty cold for Central Texas. So come with us. I thought y'all were gonna put them in there. Huh? I thought y'all were gonna put them in there. Well, she hadn't passed all of her afterbirth last night. Yeah, <laughs> they're attacking it. Good morning, Lefty. Is there water for us? How are you? How are you? Yeah, we're Hello. Some water out I used that red bucket yesterday. If you want to use that again? Okay. I just use the bathtub to fill up. Hey, kitty. Hey kitties. Hey kitties. Hey kitties. Dad, somebody needs to clean this place up. I'm gonna clean it up today because it's my wrapping paper pile. For y'all's Christmas <laughs> since y'all just forget about them like they're not even here. They need to be catching mice. They have to eat to... Much. They have to no, they have to eat to catch mice. What? 
Well-fed cat, cats catch more mice. Oh, really? It's a, I researched it. I doubt that. But you researched it. I mean, I'm not saying that may not be true, but I don't have to do that. Well, the nice thing about it being cold is the ground froze, so it's not muddy. Yeah, that is true. What about the dill over there? Is there a thing frozen? Is there water froze? Oh, we need to go check it. Bub, did you bring your... No, it's at the house. Buster opener? Did you get that out of my loading container? No. Hey, there's a good puppy dill right there, bub. Puppy feeder. You can go ice skating on that. Would you come on, weirdo? Oh, it's not running. It's froze. Uh oh. It actually froze. Oh, there we go. Even better. Now you don't have to break ice. It's obvious we never even heard it run when we knocked the ice out of it because that that was froze that float was froze to the wall. But that's a good so it's been nearly forty eight hours of below freezing weather. And that's our here in central Texas our water lines are only I mean these these are twelve to eighteen inch deep water lines. I mean we don't the frost line is like I've never had a water line freeze under the ground. So, um, but those, that water trough, it faces, it has no protection, almost facing due north. And the water itself, the water line wasn't froze. What happened when I, I guess I should let y'all look in there. The float, the water froze against the float and the wall of the trough. So the float couldn't drop down to turn the water on. So even the valve wasn't froze up. It was just the float wouldn't drop. So. So I'm pretty impressed. I, I wouldn't say impressed. I am impressed with our water trough. One thing I did notice, though, like on this water trough, um, they all have an access door, which this one is on the south side of it. I have one water trough up in the lots up there that the access door we put on the north side, just I wasn't even paying any attention when I set it. Um, and it'll freeze a day before these others will because of, that access door faces north. So. Just a little word to the wise, if you're ever gonna install some of these type of water troughs, these are Miraco uh, waterers. Be sure to put your access door facing south or not north where the wind blows at it. All right, I'm cold. All right, E-Dog here is gonna get the puppies out, the new puppies out. They're gonna grow. Okay, we'll get the puppies. We'll dump the poop out later. Are you scared? Well, I don't want to get poop on me. Oh my gosh, you got a washing machine. Oh, they are fatties. And they just got free eating. Who is this? That is the little oh, boy. This is the boy? Yep. We are not keeping him. Um, because we already have a female and we're going to get two sisters here, these puppies will, will get a couple sisters. Um, I don't want to be having pups all the time and it's obvious that Dave's, you know, left to go look at chasing women. So um, if we just get all females, I can either get them fixed or selectively yeah. breed them when I get ready to breed them to have a litter of pups when I want them out of the dogs that I want to have them out of. So um, it'll be, be better for us. Una Moss. One more. Come here, little puppy. Come here, little girl. Come here. Oh, gosh. Y'all, oh, you just threw her on the ground. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Peter's going to get you. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, puppy. Little fat bellies. They, they, they ate good. Oh, no. They're all pooping at the same time. Yeah, they're ready to get out of that. Pepper. 
little kennel. Our original pepper. Pepper, come on. We got these the other day and it was cold, so keeping them in there kept them warm. Um, my original concern is they might be able to get out of that four by four square, but I they're gonna have to try pretty hard to get through there. I don't think they will. Um, so we'll put them in here for a couple days, and then our next spot we'll probably move them out here to where we work on that water trough and put some lambs in there with them and let them start to bond with those um, like i don't know if we did a video on this we'll let bug kill the can am so the thing about these livestock gardens you can handle them you can touch them you can pet them but we don't want to treat them like pets we don't want to come out here every day and pet them and play with them and run around we want them to kind of about half stay wild in our dogs. And you can do whatever you want to with your dogs. It make me no difference. But I want mine to know that the sheep are their family, not us. That we, we can bring them food and stuff like that. But uh, I want them to spend their time out there with the sheep. I don't want them laying up here on the porch in the day, during the day taking a nap and uh, doing stuff like that, chasing around these other dogs. I want them to stay with the sheep where they're supposed to be. So the way we do that is we'll... We'll uh, put them in there with some other late with some lambs or some ewes and let them let them bond, and they'll just get to where they're hanging out with them, and then probably in another I don't know probably 30 to 60 days, and we'll turn them out, and they'll hopefully go with the flock and, and stay with them. And the cow killers. I'm a cow killer. Isn't there a song like that? I have no idea. You're pointing at the ground. Do you even pay attention to what you're doing? Oh my God. You want to operate this? Hey, hey anybody looking for a demography <laughs> job? <laughs> drop your drop your contact info in the in the bill there. I might be I might be in need of a, of a good videographer. Thank y'all for watching. Keep branching. Keep branching.